So hey friends, family and probably anybody watching, um, if you've been uh, consuming my content on YouTube that you might have noticed that I've not really been posting for the last one year and I just want to give you some reason for why it happened and then um, what, I, what I plan to do in life and pretty much just summarize my last one year and share you some of my experiences I've been through and also the internal changes. So from the creation of this YouTube channel, I've always dedicated this to uh, just document whatever is happening to me. So whenever I was, you know, traveling and doing some vlogs or uh, doing business, then I just, you know, put out the content and I thought it's uh, worthwhile for people to watch and valuable. And because the last year I've not been working and I felt like I don't actually want to vlog or, you know, create YouTube videos because I had so much footage sitting waiting for me to edit them that I actually just didn't do any work on that side. So what will happen on this challenge now is that I will start posting again, but I will go back in time two, three, four years and uh, pick a couple of videos that I think it's worthwhile for me to put in the work and edit them and publish them. And uh, I'm probably gonna like attach some commentary to those videos as for like why I'm posting them and what is the lesson that you might be able to learn from them. I really wanna show people and document the journey where I've been coming from for the last three, four years. Um, you should definitely check out like how unorganized my thinking was, how much I'm like a different person uh, and all that kind of stuff. Now, I will just quickly summarize what happened in the last one year, okay? Exactly one year ago, uh, I decided that the work I've been doing is just getting too much. I don't want to do so much work. I want to have more um, free time activities. I really wanted to, I had a lot of books I wanted to read. I had like 50, 60 uh, things on my to-do list. I, ke I kept pushing them to the back, like fixing things, fixing things in my life, um, you know, health-wise, relationship-wise, all that kind of stuff. I really wanted to find a girl I can love, like fall in love and like have a nice relationship. Um, I wanted to travel to places, I wanted to ride my bike more, I wanted to have a driver's license. So I did all those things. I, I fall in love successfully, uh, found the girl, I went to festivals with my friends, I spent a lot of time with family and loved ones. Um, I've been blessed enough to, um, to go to a 10-day Vipassana retreat lately that really changed a lot uh, in me and the way I look at life. And uh, I rode my bike a ton, like I just, I just rode my bike pretty much every day. Like I was riding like 15, all the way for like 15 to 25 hours every single week. So this whole thing started me thinking that I need two weeks off to organize my thoughts and organize my life and then I can just get back on business. And then that two weeks became the most significant influential two weeks of my life. I felt the happiest ever in the past. I don't know, two, three years, not like I was unhappy before, but I felt pure joy and gratefulness and, and all kind of things. And I extended that two weeks and two weeks became four, uh, you know, one month became two, two became, I think, three. And then I decided to go on like half a year and then half a year um, ended up being a whole year. And just before anybody started thinking that, yeah, it's easy for me because I have the money and or uh, some people who are like, you know, working really hard and pushing towards uh, strong financial goals, they might believe, oh, Blaze couldn't take it anymore and he just like disappeared uh, and changed his perspective uh, and changed his uh, identity. <clears throat> now running away from work, being lazy, etc. <clears throat> we want to make this very clear. In the past three, four years, actually five years, I put all my heart into uh, building a business and making money. And I think I did a decent job in that. Like if I look at um, the past five years. Uh, in the first two years, it was really like experimental, like trying to figure out what's going on. And really in the last two, two and a half years, uh, we generated uh, close to like half a million dollar. And we did that with like 60, 70% profit margins. And what I realized from that is I, I started buying all the things I always wanted, <clears throat> right? So like the, you know, the newest phone, newest laptop, traveling around the world, <clears throat> renting places for like three, 4,000, um, euro per month, uh, going to like very exclusive luxury places, uh, doing a lot of uh, free time activities, uh, events, like anything I can think of and I wanted to buy, just bought it, right? I'm, I never wanted to have like crazy luxurious things. And so what I've learned from that is the money I have is definitely enough for me for at least a few years to just enjoy myself and uh, without the need of like, I have to make more. And so from that realization, um, now, internalizing and knowing that 
I don't do the work for money. I went on a quest to find what I really want to do in life, what I, what I really enjoy doing in life if I don't have to make money. And those are the things, being with friends, being with loved ones, uh, being with my girlfriend, traveling, um, you know, meeting new people, uh, being in this you know, mountain bike riding community, uh, doing a lot of self-discovery, reading books, uh, all that kind of things I love and enjoy doing. And I also realize that I miss working. I really enjoy working with other people, creating something, building systems, processes, teaching things to other people. All these things came together. And because of that, I did the whole year because internally, I feel like from this one year, I've learned more and I made more progress than I could have ever made if I was just to like do the, do the actual work and like, you know, push the business to make like half a million uh, dollar revenue, you know, this year and maybe like be on track to make a million next year. Could have easily happened. I know I could do that. Um, I know that's it within me and that's probably gonna happen with time, but I've really realized that the things that actually matter are not, not financial to me. And so this is the path I have right now on. And my plan is to go back into business and start working again because I really want to incorporate that into my life and then we will see where I go from there. So I don't want to make this video much longer than necessary. Uh, so to wrap it up, it's just like a couple of things I've really learned. The biggest one is really this one. Like I've not learned, but I've experienced how little effect money has on my life because so some people argue that money can or cannot buy happiness, but realistically speaking, when you can experience complete joy and blissfulness and gratefulness for a whole year without making a single dime. Actually, I actually looked at the bank account and I spent 90,000 euros. So like 90,000 euro minute minus this last year um, and made zero. And I've never felt, I never really felt anxious. I never felt like, oh, I don't have security or anything like that. I just felt complacent. I felt um, joyful, grateful, obviously most of the times. I don't want to make it sound like this was, you know, like some crazy rainbow unicorn experience. Sure, it has some, you know, ups and downs like it is in life, but like, holistically speaking, probably the best year of my life in a long time. And because of that, I know I will never be the same like I was before. And I want to incorporate everything I've learned in the last one year to business as well. And so, from now on, I will operate business in a different way. I don't want business to take over my personal life again. And I will, I will make sure that I have, you know, I do measures to, for that to happen. And I also want to make sure that the business I'm building and the people I'm working with, I can really enjoy the company of those people and uh, we can do great things together. I don't really want to get lost in the details, if you know what I mean. Um, I could keep on going with this video for a whole hour, but I think, um, there's no point in that. And so um, thanks for watching the video. And if you're interested, just, you know, come back sometime. I'm probably gonna be publishing a lot of videos in the, you know, upcoming times. And uh, let me know how you like them. And uh, pretty much that's what I got for you today. Have a beautiful day.